Peace and love, family. Today we're making something electric and absolutely delicious. We are making alkaline jollof. Yes, it's electric, it's delicious, so stay tuned. First, we're gonna make the tomato mixture. We're gonna put in one whole yellow onion. You can also use red onion as well. This is what I have on hand, so this is what we're gonna use. Next, we're going to input one whole red bell pepper. And then lastly, I am going to add 10 sun-dried tomatoes. So the reason I'm using sun-dried tomatoes is because I don't have fresh tomatoes, so I'm going to make use of what I got. Next, I'm going to add in one cup of spring water, and then I'm going to blend all of that electric goodness together. I almost forgot the habanero pepper. That is vital to this recipe. Don't be like me. Make sure you add it to the recipe. Next, we're going to input some grapeseed oil into your pot. Then you're going to add in your yellow onion or red onion. Next, you're going to add your alkaline curry alternative powder. This powder adds extra flavor to the dish. And I inputted about a tablespoon and a half of this mixture. This also adds a beautiful red color to the dish as well. You're going to roast it for 30 seconds. And then you're going to input your tomato mixture goodness. Next, you're going to add some more spices. The key to this dish is just adding a whole lot of flavors and letting it marinate together. I'm going to input a tablespoon of oregano, basil, and dill. Also, a heaping teaspoon of onion powder brings this dish to a whole nother level. Pro tip, use a strainer to wash your quinoa off so that way it's just easier to transfer it straight into the pot. So you're gonna put in all of your delicious white quinoa. Next, you're going to add in two cups of spring water. Now, the key to getting this fluffy and absolutely delicious is by sealing it with a baking sheet. Now, before you cover all this electric goodness down, make sure to mix everything together so all those flavors can marinate well. I couldn't find a baking sheet, so I used the next best thing, a plate to steam it. And um, I'm showing you guys how to use the fluffing method. This is the way you mix it around instead of having to stir it so that way it's nice and fluffy. So this is called like scarring the quinoa. When you get to this point, you take off the heat and you just let the remaining heat steam the quinoa. This meal was absolutely amazing and delicious. So this is how I decided to pair it. It works really well with our apple and kale salad. Then I also added some ripe boro bananas and look at how beautiful our jalaf looks. And our next recipe was gonna be the mushroom, the suya mushroom. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace family.